Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. All right, so the next celebrity couple is Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. People have been asking about them for a while, so I'm going to do a uh, reading on them. Blake is a Scorpio, sorry, Ryan is a Scorpio, Blake is a Virgo. I got that down right. Please, Lord, help me <laughs> if that is wrong. All right. So um, October 23rd is the first day of Scorpio. So he's like the first degree of Scorpio. Like I'm November 23rd. I'm the first degree of Sagittarius. And she is August 25th, which I believe is like right in the beginning of Virgo as well. So when I think about these two, I really feel that is a nice, fun, loving couple. Like it's like they like to make each other laugh. And I think that these two really um, are a nice couple. They fit well together. They don't take life seriously. So you look at someone like, I, who can I compare them to? Um, a couple, who's a serious couple? Like when I think of someone like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, I don't see them two having a lot of fun together. Fun in life. Kanye's serious. He's deep. He's philosophical. You know, um, she's somewhat too, you know. Uh, so when you look at someone like Blake and Ryan, they are not saying they're not, not serious, but when it comes to their relationship, it's on the lighter side. They can get through the day and have their talks, but they have fun. They have fun. They enjoy themselves. They go out and they, you know, um, they have a really nice time together at home. I feel like, um, are they both actor, actors? Is Blake Lively an actor or actress? Let's see what she does. What is Blake Lively's profession? American actress okay so she's an actress as well so I feel that they bond really together really well together um, uh, through work talking about work they have a lot of um, uh, similarities a lot of um, what is the word I'm looking for a lot in common they have a lot in common um, whether it's they like to talk about acting, but it's like they both like to go biking and they both like to garden, you know, like that kind of a thing. Like they they really connect on a lot of different levels, um, not just acting, but in many, many ways. They have a lot in common. They're two, they're like two peas in a pod. They're fun. Um, they, they, they don't take things seriously. Now, um, her spouse, it says here is Ryan Reynolds and they have children. They have two children. Inez Reynolds and James Reynolds. So they must be very little. Um, but I feel that they work really together, uh, really well together as a family unit. He knows his part. She knows her part. It's like, it's very well, well balanced. I don't feel he's an angry sort of a guy. I think he's fun, loving. And if there's a serious situation or a serious moment, he knows how to lighten it up and have fun. You know, um, I don't get anything like for a Scorpio. Most Scorpios are pretty deep, right? Um, but I feel that he gets through life more on the light, excuse me, on the lighter side, not taking life so serious, seriously. The two of them get along great. I think they're going to be together a long time. I don't see like divorce in the cards for these guys. Um, I don't feel that the relationship is rocky, um, intense, anything like that. It's great. He's a good guy. And it's like a nice fit. She's a, she's a good woman, you know? And uh, um, I don't know what else more to say about these two people. I just really feel a nice, fun, light, energetic vibe with these two. All right. Um, uh, 
careers. I feel like, I don't know if she's working right now, but I feel that she's kind of put it on hold a little bit. Um, I feel she's like more dedicated to the family right now. Um, I don't know if you like, see, again, I don't follow a lot of celebrities, so I don't even know if he's done a movie lately. Has he done a movie lately? Because it's almost, I get this vibe of, all right, him saying to Blake, all right, Blake, my love, if you don't want to work, I will do extra movies so you can stay at home with the kids and you can focus on that if that's what you want to do. And when the time is right, you can go back to doing movies or working. You can take a bit of a back seat and focus on the kids if that's what you want to do. He's very supportive of what she wants to do. So I feel like in, in some aspects, he has picked up the pace or or like is helping her out by doing extra for the family. It's like kind of like if you have um, somebody who's got a full-time job, like a husband, and he says, you know what, to make a little, like, so you can stay at home. Not that they need money, but um, it's like, so you can stay at home, I'll, I'll take on a second job. You know, I feel like he's more than happy to do another movie and do more movies so she can kind of be at home and kind of take a back seat. And I think at this point she is happy to do that. I don't know if she's working. Um... A simple favor is what she did in 2018. Gossip Girls from 2007 to 2012, but that was like a lot of years ago. But it looks like in 2018 was the last time she's done anything. So, so I don't feel that career is like completely her focus right now. It's the children and the family unit and uh, that's how they kind of keep it going. All right. Okay, so um, I'm going to... Let two cards fall. Uh, let some cards fall out of the deck. Well, how I do my readings is I let I let one card fall out at a time, and um, and if more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. One card falling out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. All right. Those are the only ones I typically read. And if anybody's looking for a private reading, what I am is what's called a clairsentient, so I can feel what other people feel. All right, I pick up energies from other people, and that's how that's an energy reading. So when I do the celebrity readings, that's what I get. Like I don't get that Blake and Ryan fight, or in constant turmoil or drama. I feel it's a it's 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 a very smooth flowing relationship. All right, what are the messages regarding Blake and Ryan? Blake and Ryan. What are the messages regarding Blake and Ryan? Blake and Ryan. 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 All right, Blake and Ryan. The energies between them. There's the sun, the happiest card in the deck. The most joyous card in the deck. This is about material happiness and a joyous outcome. What did I say? That this is a great relationship between the two of them. It flows very nicely. It's always growing. It's always transitioning. There's the death card. And this is about big changes. It's ending of one thing. It's a rebirth. It's letting go. It's moving on. It's constantly evolving and changing between the two of them. And it has to change. You can't have something be the same all the time. So like, for example, when you are husband and wife, there's no children, you're, you have a certain dynamic, and then the kids come along and things change. So now there's a death to one way of being, and then there's a new beginning. It's like going from a cocoon to a butterfly. That's what this card signifies, that there's constant changes and rebirths going on in this relationship. And then we have the justice card. Um, let me just see what the justice means. I feel that this is about well balance as well. Um, fairness. So this is about justice, action, decisions, clarity, perception, balance. Um, it's about improved support and good advice. Uh, everything is for the higher good. But you can see that here you got the two cards or the two, the way scales. 
Scales of justice are very balanced. Lots of thought goes into this relationship. There's the sword. This is thought. All right. All right. What are the future messages regarding Blake and Ryan? Future messages regarding Blake and Ryan. 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 I'm just going to grab my book here. All right, so here we have the Three of Swords. Um, They're good. Look, okay, this card can talk about stress. So, and having to strike at the heart of a problem. So, they like this is about depression. Um, it could be about um, new revelations. It's about sorrow. I don't know if one of them is going to go through something. Um, whether it is family issues maybe with her with him like external family issues but looks like there's going to be some sort of an intense stress that comes up I don't think it's going to be between the two of them I think it's an external all right I don't see I don't see like this is usually <clears throat> excuse me a divorce card three party you know stabbed to the heart I don't feel this has anything to do with that I feel like there's going to be some sort of it a stressful situation that's going to go around like I want to say like maybe his family or her family someone could be ill <clears throat> then we have the um, high priestess and the high priestess talks about wisdom the spiritual realm intuition feminine power the priestess reveals wisdom, intuition, and secrets. The card invites you to honor your intuition and connect with your spiritual guidance. It's about time about privacy and discretion. So there could be something that goes on in the family that they need to keep quiet. And it could be because of the stress that might be coming. But it'll be a new beginning. There's the fool. It's about fresh hope. It's taking chances. It's about new beginnings. It's traveling. It's having faith in the situation. So they might come across a stre stressful situation that's coming up. All right. Illness in the family. Maybe one of the kids are going to get sick. God forbid. But you know, this, this has to do with um, extreme stress. All right. I will let one, one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. See what comes up there. Where is it? Well, it's not over there because it's over here. <clears throat> All right, Blake and Ryan. Blake and Ryan. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So there's something that's going on in their life, love life, that is worth waiting for. Divine timing. All right. Okay, there you go. That's Blake and Ryan. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And again, if anyone's interested in a private reading, please email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, bye-bye.